Um, this I found fascinating. Um, Laura Ingram had Dinesh D'Souza on. Dinesh D'Souza, of course, is a uh, well-known, um, uh, you know, convicted uh, felon. Uh, he he broke uh, campaign finance laws, uh, went to jail for a while. Uh, Laura Ingram has him on. Laura Ingram, of course, a uh, well-known uh, purveyor of white nationalist talking points. Uh, but you got to shift. You got to shift sometimes. And um, here she is apparently doing an important segment on the use of, um, of pronouns that are different from he or she. Uh, Dinesh, uh, part of this, as Victor says, starts very young. There's this, there's this uh, website and there's a lot of cute little cartoon videos. It seems kind of in, you know, inconsequential when you first look at it, but we're, we want people to focus on this because this is very insidious. It's this thing called brain pop, okay? And it's about children's grammar and the need to use certain, certain personal pronouns. Watch. They can be used as a singular pronoun, too. Like if you said, I'm going to see my friend, I could ask, where do they live? Since I don't know your friend's gender identity. And some individuals prefer they as a pronoun. Dinesh, first of all, it's poorly produced, but you get the point, right? It, it, and it, and it kind of takes the kids away from their family setting or maybe their their religious values whether you're muslim or christian or Jew, what have you right. breaks that bond the goal is to break the bond with the nuclear family i'm sorry can you pause it one second wait, 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 wait. Uh, how could you possibly shoehorn that into that? yeah I, I i'm this children's video is very poorly produced um also i just would love to point out and i do it every time dinesh decides to come on her show former lovers Oh, is that right? I had no idea. Love when they reunite. Yeah, back to their days at Dartmouth. Am I am I correct? Oh, that's. I think that yeah, I, they they both did go to Dartmouth. A torrid love affair. Um, and yeah, I'm glad they're still on good terms because they're about to churn out some quality content here. So the idea is, I mean, the what what's awesome about that is it also just shows how completely innocuous it actually is to deploy the word they or them. Uh, in lieu of he or she. I thought that was I can't be certain, but I'm pretty sure I remember growing up and doing that way before I was even conscious of any sort of trans issue. Yeah, I thought that was actually a better explanation about they, them pronouns, which I have no problem using, of course. But then I'd heard just, you know, well, first off, the first usage, yeah. the first usage, like, I don't know what the gender is of the person. You haven't made that clear to me. So I refer to them as them. If I couldn't, I wouldn't say he or, or she, because I don't know. You didn't make it clear to me what the gender was. And then there are people who identify as having a, um, a non-binary gender. And so you just say they are them. Is it? odd and different than we're used to doing well for us old people maybe a little bit but it's so easy to make that adjustment it's unbelievable and then the idea that somehow this attacks the nuclear family no what it attacks is maybe your fundamentalist version of religion on some level although there's certainly um, folks who are very religious who can deal with this, um, but it is, it is absolutely uh, lunacy, and this is not a new phenomenon. You, you know, at various times in the development of the English language, we have used what we consider today or did consider plural pronouns for singular um, people. I mean, it's just. It's not that big of a deal. Is there anything more to this, or is it just is that it? It's just Dinesh going on, agreeing. I'm yeah, sorry. I want to hear Dinesh yes. uh, Dinesh uh, 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 responding. I, I just they were engaged. I just I have to point that out. And he dated Ann Coulter. It's just unbelievable. He has a type. Jesus Christ. Go on. <laughs> Breaks that bond. The goal is to break the bond with the nuclear family. 
Absolutely. Uh, the, uh, at, at some level, you're tempted to uh, take this as comedic, as ridiculous. Of course, it's, it's, it's a material for satire. But these people are deadly serious. They're actually not kidding. Uh, they are trying to redefine basic categories. In fact, categories supplied by, by nature itself. I think the real pathology here is that white America, and you see this throughout the society, is immobilized by the accusation of racism. People right. who, have, who are, don't have a racist bone in their body don't know what to say. And this is why parents buckle. This is why school boards give in. This is why woke corporations give in. They give in because the charge of racism moves them into a theatrical mode in which they have to sort of They're dissociate petrified. themselves from America's past. Well, yeah. I don't know why he dovetailed this into racism, but for them, it's all the same. And this is sort of the same argument that I used to make, like when people were like, I voted for Obama. But when it comes time for me to vote for a woman, I'm not voting for two abnormal presidents in a row. Yeah. That, like, I, I think from their perspective, it's like anything that is in any way non-conforming to the way that they think things should be, it is inherently problematic. And I also want to make it clear that I've spent a lot of time around fruit trees. I've spent a lot of time in gardens. Spend a decent amount of time in nature in my life. I have never come a across a pronoun tree or a pronoun bush. Pronouns do not exist in nature. They are constructed by human beings. I just want to make that clear to anybody who didn't realize that pronouns are not biology or nature. Oh, so is that really going to hit? Because I thought they wanted everything to come from God not nature yeah, right um aren't there fe female and male trees all right this is beside the point is that true there are no trees need to pollinate each other yeah but but they could they could be they them it doesn't matter they are they are they them. 